Well, it's something we stress every day, uh, every meeting. Um, you know, I think it's a learn process uh, for, for guys to understand, uh, not to force things when they're not there. Um, uh, you know, and, and ultimately we did that a couple times and it cost us um, multiple goals. You know, like, you know, I said it the other night, you're not going to be at your best every night. Uh, it's the reality of life. And when you, in order for us to win, you know, some teams cannot be at their best and win. That's just the reality. Uh, for us to win when we're, not, when we're not at our best, we have to be great defensively uh, and we have to manage the puck and not give away anything easy. And we didn't do that the other night. So I expect we'll have better energy tonight, but I also know we can't give away easy chances and easy goals against how much of puck management is, is what your own team is doing, whether it's an on or an off night, how much the opposition forces those kind of turnovers and forces you to do things you don't want to do? Uh, both, you know, both. I think um, ultimately it's about understanding when you can make a play and when you can't, uh, when you can attack and when you got to live another day. That's what it's about. And it's, it's learning that process. Uh, you know, when you're a young, skilled forward, you want to attack all the time and try to force things that aren't there. And sometimes you just got to live another day. And, and um, you know, and sometimes when the game's going the wrong way, you try to attack more and it actually makes it worse where you just got to stay patient. Maybe it's 2 nothing. You stay patient. Uh, you get the next one. It's 2-1. You know, 2-1 and 3 nothing are, huge, are two huge differences, especially for our hockey team. And so uh, it's just a learning process. Thanks, Bosh. Yep. Next up, Ansar Khan, I'm live. Yeah, Jeff, uh, uh, any injury updates on Ryan and uh, uh, Gagne? Ryan's unavailable tonight. Gagne's unavailable tonight. Uh, still day-to-day -day type things? Correct. Correct, yeah. And uh, what about, is, is Bernier on this trip, or do you have any uh, time frame on him? Uh, Bernie is on this trip. He skated in our pregame skate, so I'd say he's inching closer to, to being in a position to play. Um, uh, we practice tomorrow. We'll see how he does with that. And uh, everybody who played uh, the previous game uh, available? Everybody who played the previous game is available. Thanks, Jeff. Yep. Next up, Max Boltman with The Athletic. Hey, Jeff, I'm just curious. Why do you think uh, this Florida team's had the success that they've had so far this year? It seems like they, they've kind of taken a step forward as, as a group. They've definitely taken a step forward, you know, and, and, and they've had some unfortunate injuries as of late. And, uh, you know, obviously it didn't hurt them the other night. Um, you know, Aaron Eckblad play, was playing as good uh, as he has, I think, since his first year in the league. I think he, he was excellent this year. Um, really, really unfortunate what happened. It, it would be unfortunate for anybody uh, in any year, um, but, but especially with the year he was having, uh, it, I, I feel real bad for him. Um, you know, I think, I think um, they made some, some subtle moves that have, that have helped them be better. Um, I think uh, Hornquist is a guy who's been out, but he's really helped their team. He brings a competitive level, brings a scoring around the cage, which, which is where all the scoring is. Uh, Verhaggy's uh, it looks like a guy who, uh, you know, was on, you know, behind a number of people probably in Tampa. And once he gets a chance to flourish, he looks like he's flourishing. Um, I think Barkov and Huberto are great, great players. Um, you know, I think Yandel's had a real good year and they have good goaltending. And I think uh, Joel Quenville does an excellent job. So, I mean, all, all those things combined, they got off to a good start. They've kept it rolling. They play really, really fast. They just tip pucks in and forecheck you. And they play a super simple game. It's out of there and fast and you're in fast and uh, um, they're, they're, they're on top of you. So, overall, they've done a really good job. And then where, where are you at on kind of Zadina's overall season so far to this point? I know we've talked about kind of some up and some downs, but as you look at it kind of holistically, what are your thoughts on, on what he showed and, and what you'd still like to see more of? Um, well, I think on a, on a pretty consistent basis, he's tried to be right. He's tried to compete hard. Uh, he's tried to be accountable, play from the right side of the puck, um, not cheat for offense. Uh, you know, the games where he's done uh, either one of those, either not been hard enough on the puck or, or started to cheat for offense. We've showed him and he's corrected it, which is a great sign, um, especially for a young player. And, and he's very coachable that way. Um, I think he's gotten more dangerous as the year's gone along. And I think he's made more plays. He's, he's been more dangerous with the puck, um, you know, not just from a scoring aspect, but, but with the puck. Uh, uh, even today in our pregame skate, he made a, a heck of a play in a rush, and, and it looked like a guy who was dangerous. So, you know, I think as he continues to to uh, work on being that complete player and then gets more dangerous, that, that's when you have a really good winning type hockey player. Thank you. Yeah. Last question from Helene St. James, Detroit Free Press. Just, just wanted to check with you. We're now two months past on Tyler Bertuzzi. Anything new? 
Uh, I skated the last few days. He's skating again today. So that's some progress. Um, uh, he, he, where that goes from here, Helene, I, I just don't know. You know, again, it's one of those ones that really didn't know how long it would be. It just don't, totally depends on how he, uh, you know, how it constantly feels after uh, workouts and after skates. And he's had some some moments where we thought he was inching closer and then he took a step forward. Last week, he seems to be progressing in the right direction. Now, where that what, what that means, I don't know. He's been a long time out, as you said. Uh, so, you know, we're starting to run out of runway here. Um, but we'll see. We'll see where, the, where it goes from here. He's not on the trip, though. He's skating in Detroit on, by himself. Oh, he's, he's on the trip. He's, he's on the trip. Okay. Is that the first time he's been on a trip? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. Well, that has yep. to be – was that kind of him coming and saying, I think I can well, – uh, you know, again, it's about kind of inching closer a little bit. And so, you know, he hasn't practiced necessarily with the team, but he did do a, an optional skate with the players. And so he's around other players and stuff like that. So it's definitely, you know, I'll, I'll definitely use the word inch, though. It's inching closer. It's not, you know, he's not close to practicing yet, you know. And so until he's close to practicing, I can't give you any kind of timetable until he, he probably practices. And you mentioned the way yourself. I mean, at, at this point, it's fair to say he's, he's probably going to need about a week whenever he first steps onto the a practice with you guys. So, so they, they, I mean, you really are running out of runway. There's five weeks left in the season. So let's just say he's at least still a week away until he, he shows up on, uh, at, at a practice. Is that fair to say? I'd say, well, you know, once he hits his first practice, he'd be at least a week away. You know, and so you can do the math from there. Um, I don't know when that first practice would even be. You know, I, it's not like I'm. I, it's not like I'm going to say right. to you guys, "Hey, you know, we've got a first practice for him. We plan on next week." I wouldn't say that at all. I'd say, again, he skated a few days here, and uh, you know, I think three out of the last four days. So that's a positive. Um, so we'll take that as a positive. And then once he gets to practice, um, you know, again, I think I'd have a better timeline for you, but. Uh, it's at least a week once he gets to practice in my mind. Like he hasn't, uh, he hasn't been able to do much at all, you know? So until, until that point, it might be longer. And so lastly, who, which is there a particular player you think maybe has really been able to come in and grab the opportunity with, with him being out? Uh, I don't know if Michael Rasmussen is somebody, I mean, just that kind of has, has, you know, staked a claim there on some of those minutes. Um. You know, I would say it's probably been more just a collective effort of, of you know, certainly Ras, um, you know, Zadina, I think ultimately, you know, he gets, if Bert was here, there would be another guy that, that maybe he'd be competing for some of those top minutes and, and he's had more of those top minutes because of it. Uh, Ras would be a guy for sure. You know, um, I don't, would he be up or not up? I'm not sure. And I think once he, once we called him back up, he's done a pretty good job. He's, he's looked like a better player. So I think, you know, those, those young guys have done a good job of, of uh, showing well and developing well, uh, you know, during that time. Is that because of uh, Bert's absence? I can't say that. I don't know which guy for sure, but, but certainly those guys have, I think are, are headed in the right direction. Thank you so much. It's flurrying yep. back here, so enjoy the sunshine. We will. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. We'll be back shortly with John Merrill.